keep uh, getting asked which is the best caliber air rifle or which caliber do I use uh, when I go hunting uh, and the advantages of different caliber 2, 2 and 177 so I'm just going to do a short video and explain uh, a little bit about the two calibers so let's talk about the uh, trajectory of the pellet when it leaves the rifle as the pellet leaves the rifle it will rise in the air and then fall at its target like an arc the 2-2 two -two, which is the bigger pellet <coughs> excuse me will tend to rise more than the 177 so the trajectory for the 2-2 two -two is higher the 177 has a flatter trajectory meaning it uses most of its energy going forward rather than rising and then dropping on the target so for this reason I use the 177 it's, some people say it's a little bit more accurate than the 2-2 two -two. Uh, but at 20-30 yard both are uh, accurate calibers uh, to use uh, someone once told me that when he goes out shooting pigeon uh, and crows and, and uh, squirrels that he uses the 177 calibre and when I asked him you know why I like uh, knowing that squirrels are so hard to, to kill with a shot unless you know you hit him in the head he told me that the 177 due to its flatter trajectory means that he can track or make a path through the branches of the trees to get to his target better it means that when you've shot the pellet and it's rising through the air it won't rise and hit a branch. He can, if the branches are close together, he can navigate a path through. So he uses the 177 for that. So I've always used 177, and uh, my brother-in-law uses a 22 in his air arms. But and both at 20 yards, 30 yards are accurate, uh, you know, enough. There's really not much in it, so it's 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 down to you uh, what you feel comfortable uh, when you. Another thing I was asked was, will a 177 kill a rabbit? And the answer to that is most definitely yes. Uh, sorry, my dog's just chasing a rabbit. Arch! Arch! Anyway, sorry. Uh, yeah, he asked me if it, a 177 will kill a rabbit. Uh, I put this into terms that you would understand. A rabbit's skull is much like an egg, and the fur around the skull is much like an orange peel around the egg so you imagine shooting at uh, an egg with a rabbit peel around it it would go through it no problem uh, and as long as you're shooting them in the right place which is in between the eye and the ear it'll more often than not pass straight through the 2-2 with it being a heavy heavier caliber will have a higher impact you know a heavier impact but the 177 at 20, 30 yard, when you've when you've shot your rabbit in the air, it'll more often than not it'll go straight through. Uh, it'll kill it instantly, go straight to the brain. Uh, they'll either drop like a stone, or they'll shoot themselves up in the air about two foot and drop down. Uh, and the same with pigeon, uh, 177, no problem. I was asked, you know, do you, do you shoot pigeon and squirrel with your 177? Will it kill them? Uh, absolutely, yes. Uh, I mean, I don't take any other shot except for a headshot, uh, and this this means that you've you've killed it straight away. If you take a heart and lung shot and you miss, so you're slightly out, and it ends up, you know, missing the heart or the lungs. All you've done is injured the rabbit or whatever, and it's gone off into the edge or flown off over the edge and will be dying slowly so always I always go for the head uh, the 2-2 two -two with the pigeon some people say you know shoot them sort of anywhere like but I always aim for the head or the back uh, my brother-in-law's got the 2-2 two -two and uh, he said to me he said I shot a pigeon in the chest about 15 yards and just flew off uh, that's because the, the the chest bone on the uh, pigeon looks like a plate of armour and it's sort of curved like that and as you shoot it, it just deflects the pellet uh, it'll injure the bird and it'll fly off but it won't do any uh, instant damage uh, 
they say if you're shooting at a pigeon and you're aiming at the head, the head's so small that if you miss, you've completely missed. So there's no worry of, it, of injuring your uh, prey. And if you hit it, well, you, you've killed it because you've hit the head. Uh, but like I say, at the ranges of 20 yard, 30 yard, 2 2 177, there's not really much in them. Talking about being accurate with a 2 2, if you check my other video out, uh, me and my brother in law did a review on his rifle, which is the Air Arms S400 Classic. That's a 2 2. Uh, and in that review, he took a standing shot at 30 yard and shot an IKEA pencil out of a uh, wooden post. So, if you've been any doubts that the 2 2 is, uh, is not as accurate as a 177, check that uh, video out. Let me know what you think. I think uh, I would always choose 177, it has the edge. I, in my opinion, uh, due to the flatter trajectory, uh, and I've always sort of seen them to be more accurate. So it's down to the uh, down to the shooter really. But like I say, 20, 30 yards is not much in it at all. So I hope that's uh, been useful, uh, cleared up a few more questions about which caliber to use. Uh, like I said, I did the video because I couldn't really explain it fully in a comment. So. That's the only reason why I've done the video. And those of you that have been shooting for, for years uh, probably find the video useless, uh, but it's, it's for those that are just starting out and asking the questions of which calibre to use. So I hope it's been helpful. If it has, let me know. Uh, if you want to subscribe, please subscribe. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them below and I'll get back to you the best I can. Cheers.